welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button this is part two of how I compost all of my food scraps yard scraps to create nutrient-rich soil now watch part one and you'll understand what this next process is in part two I just got through sifting my compost and this is the black gold I received this is what makes your soil nutrient rich keep in mind nutrients come from the soil that's what goes into your plant and minerals in your soil is what gives your food flavor so this was about a year's worth of composting in the composting container I showed in my last video I had compost through the winter months which the composting decomposition slowed down but I added carbon around the beginning of the summer to heat it up to try to finish the composting process so again this is the end result of sifting so right now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my container so I can cure it for two weeks so right now I'm gonna start putting this into the container so I'm gonna lift up this wheelbarrow and add this into the container Okay, I'm gonna push this wheelbarrow back. And here's my finished compost in my container. It's beautiful. And it has a beautiful earthy aroma scent. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this. I just set it right here in the corner and let that, let that cure. Now, we're gonna go to my compost alley. Follow me. And I'm going to go ahead and start a new compost pile in my container. So what I did is all of the composting materials that did not decompose, which was mostly carbon, I added it back in to my container. Also, I always make sure that I save my leaves and my land, excuse me, my, my yard material so that I can utilize this. So this one here is leaves and needles. And remember, three parts carbon, which is your browns, to one part nitrogen, which is your greens. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my container. And I do need to wet it. I'm gonna have to wet it. So let me go get a bucket. Let me go get a bucket of water and I'll be right back. Okay, I have the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wet this down. Keep in mind your compost should be like a squeezed out, like a squeezed out sponge. So you don't want it soaking wet, but you don't want it dry. And therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and add stubborn it doesn't want to come out so I'm gonna add leaves and more pine needles okay if you have soil or dirt that 
you've had from previous years, don't throw it away. Just put it in your compost as I'm doing right now. So I want to get that wet really good. So I have some leftover soil from planter pots that I, I'm adding to this. And it's really great when you're stockpiling all your yard waste because eventually you're going to end up using it. So these are my greens right here. I'm grabbing some more of my stockpile. And as I work in my yard again, I save these bags. Now, I will be adding food scraps to this compost. And that will be my greens. These are more pine needles, but pine needles take a little longer to break down. However, this is going to compost for about a year. Now keep in mind, it's going to stay warm in Denver through October. And as this breaks down, I will continue adding wood chips, greens. We're going to have a lot of fall waste. So as the leaves start falling, what I'm going to do with those leaves that fall, I'm going to put it in here. And as this starts decomposing, the pile will start reducing. And I will probably fill this barrel up maybe three times before winter sets in. But while I'm filling it up with more leaves and food waste and nitrogen, which are the greens, it will start composting. And probably by October, early November when the leaves fall, I should have this batch decomposed to about here. Add more browns, which helps heat up the compost and hopefully by next summer I will have a nice batch as I had just a few minutes ago. So I'm going to go ahead and get this water down. Again, nothing goes to waste in my yard. Nothing goes to the landfill. You can also refer to this as permaculture because I utilize all the waste into my compost bin. So I've already got this filled up. It's early September. I'm expecting this container or this compost bin to start cooking for probably about a good three months. Even with the temperatures at 60 and 70 degrees in Denver, it will continue cooking. It will slow down in December, January, February, and March. And then I would either try to heat it up again in May if it's um, not cooking in order to get it cooking when the temperatures rise so I can have another batch. So I just want to kind of show you my process of the finished product to curing it, to adding the raw, the, the large raw materials, excuse me, the large um, compost materials that did not decompose and then all of the other yard waste that I um, uh, stockpile, I've already used them. And so there you have it. If you are composting, share your comments with me. I would love to hear. Thank you for watching.